one thing I wanted to ask about where you are now, how do you think, what are some key things that you think university has prepared you for really well in what you do now? Do you think university has done a good job of, of prepping you or has it been more of these other things you've done where your working experience in Nepal, um, other things you've done? Like, what would you say has affected you more already, even within, let's say, university? How well do you think that's prepared you um, for what you're doing? Yeah. University is one of, one of the best educational ecosystem products and is an education ecosystem. That's the product. The product isn't the curriculum is the excuse. It's that's the thing you enroll in. It's the actual ecosystem. It's the people, the friends that you're doing these things with. There's no internship without the degree in, in my case, but also the, yeah, the prompt for getting the internship was that the prompt for traveling during that particular time, because it was in between university semesters, the prompt for exchange, you have to, you have to exchange somewhere. You've got to be part of the university to exchange somewhere, right? You've got to, had I, because I was involved in those types of things, that's how I got involved in from the ground up because I, because I was a student, I got involved in university and the teaching and learning and everything else like that. Within the university, there was this entrepreneurial course that I was interested in. And you know, that's where the first idea for espresso started. So you, you've to really think about what did I get out of it? Was it any given subject, any given class, any given syllabus dot point? No. And I think it was really, but at the ecosystem is the value. That's why I guess I, I feel so much for first year, second year, third year uni students over the last year and this year, because they, all they have is the curriculum and they don't have any of the ecosystem. The ecosystem is remote. And that's why same thing. That's why one, the 18 and lost our recent book is pretty much supposed to be the eight different stories around what people have done, how they've navigated through this time, just to give reassurance. I feel like for people at that age and stage that you don't really know what to do and there is no perfect answer. There's no perfect path. But if you actually start hearing in depth, a number of other stories, it makes you feel empowered that you're on your own story and you can make decisions on a daily basis that help put you on the right path. And the goal of the book is to have people think about their path and their decisions like that. And then I think the other thing is the constant student, which is what are the best parts of the ecosystem and what are the, and let's remove the worst parts of the, of the product, which you, you would know as a, you know, as a participant, as a member that there's no curriculum absolutely no curriculum and it's just the ecosystem and any of the programs that are being run through it, they're not being run because here's your certificate, here's something, here's something that you can show everyone else. It's here are techniques that help you do more of what you want to do anyway. This is the prompt, the reason that everyone has their goal in their six week programs that you'll get from point A to point B and make a tangible difference during that time. So I think that's what, that's what I'll take away is that think of university as an ecosystem. It's a great ecosystem that you can get a lot out of. And that's why anyone who's just going to their classes uh, and not really getting involved much beyond that, I think is a lot more difficult.